The reason we can see the world in 3D is because we have two eyes. Now, each of our eyes sees a slightly different picture from a different angle. And our brain puts each of these pictures together to give us the perception of depth. Today, we're going to be showing you how to use this optical illusion of binocular vision to create a 3D GIF, but only using two 2D images. There are lots of different kinds of optical illusion, but one thing they all have in common is a conflict between what we see and our expectation of reality. Ambiguous illusions switch between two different possibilities, such as these two faces, or is it a vase? You might see something which is normally physically impossible, such as the Penrose Triangle. Or your brain might make an assumption about what it's seeing, when reality is actually very different. These assumptions your brain makes aren't normally a problem, since it's correct most of the time. In fact, it once proved beneficial to be able to spot the face of a predator <laughs> hidden in the bush. It could mean the difference between life and death, so it was always better to be safe than sorry. But nowadays, these evolutionary throwbacks mean that instead of spotting the predator hidden in the bush, we're seeing faces in toast. So how can we utilize these assumptions to change an image from 2D into 3D? You experience this optical illusion for yourself when you go to see a 3D film. 3D glasses work because each lens is able to filter out a different polarization of light. To show you what I mean, I've got here two polarizing filters acting like the right and left lens of the glasses. Now, each of them is letting through a different kind of light, and if we overlap them, we can see that the image cancels out. So this means that each one of your eyes is getting a slightly different image, which has been taken from a different angle, creating this optical illusion. So to maximize the 3D effect in your GIF, you need clear objects in the background, the midground, and the foreground. And since it's a lovely sunny day, we've decided to come to the At Bristol Roof, where we've got the PV array behind us and Bristol Cathedral, so hopefully we can get some decent shots. Because we're using a single camera, we don't want any shots of crowds or anyone moving around in between the two shots that we're going to take. So we've chosen just a still image for this. Now, we want our subject to be in the center of the frame, and that's going to be in our mid-ground as well, because that's going to be what everything else appears to move around. So once you're happy that your shot is lined up, take the picture. Now we need to take advantage of our brain's assumptions about the location of our eyes. So we're going to move the camera a couple of inches to the side. Line up your shot again with your subject in the center and take your next shot. So it might take a little bit of practice to get it just right, but we'll see what we come to when we go to edit it. When you come to create your 3D GIF, open up your two pictures in some image editing software, line them up over the main subject. When you come to export your GIF, through our experimentation, we found that keeping each image there for two frames seems to work quite well. So when you see two images rapidly flickering between two different perspectives, roughly the same distance apart as your eyes, your brain interprets what it's seeing into a three-dimensional picture. But this illusion isn't a new technique. These beautiful stereoscopic pictures were taken over a hundred years ago in Japan by the photographer Anami. We hope they inspire you as much as they did for us. If you enjoyed this video, why not explore how to photograph the night sky? Coming soon, we'll be showing you how to take pictures of the moon. So for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. To turn an image from 2D into 3D. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs>